from everyday carry to extreme disaster and survival situation. Current 1776 gives you the top 9 proven and tested water filters and purification items that you can rely on to give you a clean and fresh H2O. Starting with number 9 for everyday carry, the Grail Ultra Press. In my opinion, the coolest, most useful, accessible water purification and filtering system out there is from Grail. And this is their new model, the Grail Ultra Press. It filters particulates, microplastic, sediment, silt, chemicals, chlorine, benzene, chloroform, and heavy metal, metals, lead, arsenic, and chromium. 99.99% rotavirus, norovirus, hepatitis A, bacteria, 99.9999%. E. coli, salmonella, dysentery, protozoa is 9.9, .9, so that's your giardia, cryptosporidium, and amoeba, or amoebae. Again, great size for everyday use, but also in survival situations or camping situations, stuff like that. You're walking around, you come up to a stream, got some, looks to be pretty clean, clear, flowing water. Pull that inner bottle out, right there, as you can see. Fill this up to there from your water source. And you simply, it's like a coffee press. It has O-ring right here. You put this into the dirty container and you push down. And while you push down, the water's going, being forced through the filter and into the inner container. Take the top off and you drink, you're good to go. All the good water is captured on the inner container. Why carry around a normal water bottle when you're going to the office and stuff like that, you can carry this and you can purify the water from the tap at work or the water from the water keg that you have at work or whatever. I mean, why not, right? Next up is a reliable hiking companion, the Sawyer Squeeze at number eight. So you fill this bottle up with the water from your, from your creek or whatever your water source is, okay? Fill up the bottle and then you've got this filter here. This filter screws onto the bottle. You got your flow arrow there and you take the cap off and you can squeeze the water off through the filter and into your container. Or you can hook the straw to it and drink directly from the filter through the straw. Uh, filters up to 100,000 gallons of water, fresh water from lakes, rivers, or streams. And here it shows a few ways that you can use it through a straw, squeezing into a container, actually screwing it onto a bottle and actually using the filter as an inline method from like a camelback or something like that. If you're traveling to a place where you doubt the water source, you can rely on number seven, the AquaTabs. AquaTabs is a product that you should have in all your kits. So here we got our packet of AquaTabs here, just a simple little container. It's got a lot of information in here. So as it says here, one tablet can treat four gallons of water. Four gallons, that's a lot of water. Four gallons in one tablet, you got a hundred tablets in here. You not always have the option of boiling water and stuff like that. So there's, there's tons of microorganisms, there's tons of things in this water that is not conducive to keeping you alive. It's just not gonna do it, okay? So if you can't boil your water, if you can't treat them in any other ways, if you don't have any filtration systems with you or anything like that, you drop a tablet in there or whatever, let it sit for 30 minutes, move it around, get it in there, good to go and it's gonna take care of all those little microorganisms and stuff that's gonna make you extremely sick and even more dehydrated. The next item is for every prepper out there, the Survival Filter Pro at number six. So what you have here is your filter system, and you've got this, you can use as a cup or just use it as a way to protect your outlet here from any contamination or whatever. You pump, and then in this nice bag right here. You've got this so that you can back flush to clean out your filters so that you can get a little bit more life out of them. So you just fill this up with clean water, go into the outlet and flush back out. This contains your first filter. It's got this little float on here. So you can adjust that however you want, set that in your water and you connect this to your inlet, which is on the bottom. You've got this hose right here that's got a clip on it. This one is for your outlet. So with the clip, that's your outlet. And the clip is so that you can clip this onto any bottle. You got your own container, you can clip this on there. There's two filters in here. So there's three filters that's going through and you simply pump. Goes out into your container. These filters are replaceable. Pulling this cartridge out and then you just twist it, pull it apart. There's one filter two filter, 
3 filter. The fifth spot goes on to this simple but extremely useful filter, the water drop. This stuff right here will filter pretty much anything. It's got a 7 100 thousandths micron filter to it and it doesn't use any um, straws, any pumps, any anything like that. You basically throw this in a mud hole. There's your five straws. You got five of them. This is the pack. You can hear there's you know, granules in there. This is what it's going to look like after several, this is half a liter. Um, this size here takes several hours, could be up to eight hours. When you get to camp, when you find an area that's got water, um, and, and you got other things to do, just let that be the first thing you do. Toss this in the water and, uh, or the mud hole or the creek or whatever. Hours later, you'll have a nutritious way to hydrate. Tastes like a Gatorade. A little bit watered down Gatorade, but tastes like a Gatorade. Um, it also has a lot of the same properties as Gatorade as far as the calories. 30 grams of carbs in it, 25 grams of sugars. It's got sodium in it as well, no fat. It's got vitamin C, and this is orange flavor, so it kind of tastes like an orange Gatorade. I was kind of thirsty. Here's a quick way to drink from a lake you found while setting up camp. The Rapid Pure at number four. So what we have here is a very simple system. You've got your hose, you've got kind of a, uh, think of it as the entrance ramp into a highway. This right here helps direct water equally through that filter. There's holes and all through there. It's got those O-rings right there, you stick that up, inside this canister, install your hose, and of course, submerge this in as clean, clear water as you can find, preferably running water, and you can drink directly from the straw. Or if need be, if you have a container, you can fill up a, a container of water with as clean a water as you can and pre-filter it with a shemag or a handkerchief or something, and then drop this down into a container and drink from there. So it's really cool, compact, simple, and it says it acts like a magnet to remove pathogens 100 times smaller than traditional microfilters. Purifies 25 gallons and can filter 200 gallons. So it also purifies other than filters. We would have thought that you can filter and drink salt water. We did. Here are sealed desalination packs at number three. We'll go through what we got to do to use this, which we have to put it in the water, and it says it can take up to eight hours. It uses reverse osmosis to desalinate and purify the water so you can drink it. So it says you can use this for fresh water or salt water. It blocks out bacteria, viruses, cysts. The package makes one liter from salt water and 1.8 liters from fresh water. There's four filters in this packet. Just test it. So he puts a drop on there or two, and he's gonna read it. Here we go. Did it work? It worked. No oh salt. my gosh. No salt. Here, hold this and turn it around. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let me turn the camera around. All right. Tastes like great, like a, uh, what is it? Um, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I can't, Pretty hold on. crazy. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, that's salty water. And it tastes good too. Like you, I could drink that. If I had to drink that. It tastes just like grape juice. That's like a grape juice. Kind of like a grape, a grape Gatorade, so. Coming on to the second spot is a water storage maintenance formula, the Biofilm Defender. This Biofilm Defender right here is a really cool product for long-term water storage. Can treat 330 gallons of water and it will keep that water to where it is safe for you to ingest for up to five years. What it does is it suspends silver and copper in the water system to attack and prevent biofilm for being created in your water storage. Biofilm's the bad thing. That's what we don't want in our water. It's bacteria film that, that creates in, in water over long term. It's like a slime. It's like a sludge that's in there and it freaking ruins the entire water supply. But one thing we like to do here at BattleBox is use those IBC totes. They're the, the kind of whitish clear 
square tanks that you see that's got a cage around them, dump the whole thing in there, you're done. No measuring, because this does 330 gallons. That water should last you up to five years when you put that stuff in there. Yeehaw. That's a long time. The first spot belongs to the most talked about water filter system on the internet. Here is the Puri Bag and the P&G water purifier. In really dire situations, this stuff right here will clean, filter, purify, extremely nasty water. So when would you likely use something like this? And you know, first thing that comes to mind for me is, you know, in the Gulf Coast areas and in the East Coast areas of, of the United States, at least, hurricanes, right? We all know what happened with Hurricane Katrina. You had tons of people on top of their houses. There's flooding everywhere. Horrible situation, right? God knows what's in the water as far as stuff that's not good for you to ingest. So here's your puree bag. You've got this clip here and then this potato chip bag type clip. And then you have your valve right here, which is a, a really cool valve. You get 12 of the PNG purifier water packets. PNG purifier water packets have been used for years. They, they've been sending these, you know, out to third world countries for a long time so that those people can clean their water properly because they have really bad water and some of them can barely get water. So when they do, you wanna be sure that it's as clean as possible, right? You need to have this in your preps, okay? You need to have this in a bug out scenario situation. If you've got a bug out location that you need to go to that, that has a water source, of course, when you select your bug out locations, you know, you need, you need to make sure they have certain resources available or nearby for you to use. Pond, creeks, rivers, lakes, whatever. Hopefully not a mud hole. As you can see in the video, it can clean water in a mud hole. So it treats sediment, arsenic, bacteria, lead, viruses, humic acid, protozoa, cyst, and DDT. So I've got a video on it. Y'all go watch it if you haven't seen it. Pretty dramatic what it can do. And again, don't filter a mud hole like that to drink from if only and only if it is the only water source available.